Today is August 3rd, 2016. Uh, it's 10 a.m. Uh, I call the meeting of the Montague County Commission to order. Uh, let the record reflect that all three commissioners are present. Right, everyone, please rise for a moment of silent meditation and pledge to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Uh, Colleen. Good morning. 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 Good morning. Um, I have 122 listings for exonerations in the amount of $58,690.45. There are minutes that need to be approved for the meeting in the work session of July 6th, 2016 in the special meeting on July 13th, 2016. I have vouchers. The general county is $201,163.31. 911 cash is $109,180.13. Mason Dixon Park was $250.41. And the assessor's valuation was $72.98. And for the purchasing card vouchers, the general county was $40,785.36. Magistrate court was $51.41. Camp Muffley was $80.81. Mason Dixon Park was $85.97. The assessor's valuation was $151.38 in the amount in the total amount of $351,821.76. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. I also have the fiduciary orders of August 3rd, 2016 and the statement of services for Cynthia Van Stanford. Okay, move for approval. Second. I have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Okay, uh, introduction of new employees, <coughs> MJ. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm MJ Zink, you can stand up Madison. I'm the Director of Mont County Youth Services and Madison came to us um, as a psychology student and did her internship. Um, she's been with us all summer and I have read, asked her if she would like the opportunity you know, to be part time. She's a hometown Morgantown girl, um, UF, UHS, right? Mm -hmm. And she'll be graduating in mm -hmm. May in her, her psychology degree. <laughs> So I'd like to ask if she can join the team at YSC. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. And thank, thank you. you. Appreciate much. it. Thank you. It's a hard job, but you know we really need qualified people. Yeah, we especially psychologists. We need. Yeah. She had a great. <laughs> she had a great guidance counselor. I'm told. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very must much for this opportunity. Else. You must have been somebody else. <laughs> yeah. is, is, is he the reason why you entered psychology? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was making That was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. sure, if you have someone for us. Yes, very briefly. This is just a change in status. Uh, <coughs> Donnie Powell, who was a full time court security officer. Uh, for several years, changed and went back to part-time status because he had uh, been retired from the Federal Bureau of Prisons and then he started drawing Social Security so he wanted to do that well. Mm -hmm. His situation has changed and he asked to be transferred back to full-time status. We have an opening because uh, we just had uh, one of our guys leave that got hired at uh, Hazleton Prison. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do have an opening. So it's just a lateral transfer from part-time to full-time. Uh, we would like that to take effect, well, on August 1st is actually what we did. His monthly salary would be uh, $2,243.03, and of course, uh, by virtue of being a full-time position, he would be eligible for benefits, and because of the change, again, he would have a six-month probationary period. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Uh, Are you going to stay you, around? Because I want to ask you a question on the unfinished business. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
All right. Okay, now's the time we take uh, comments from the public. I'm going to open the session. Comments from the public. Comments from the public. Where's Bobby? He said he had a comment from the public. Oh, well, there he is. You said uh, you had a comment from the public? Yeah. Uh, now's your time Gold. to speak. Identify yourself, address. And... 518 <laughs> Springdale Avenue, Star City. Um, we're here to, today to petition the commission on uh, putting Sunday hunting on the ballot under state code 20-2-5. Uh, it's the county's, um, uh, whether they want to put it on the ballot or not. And uh, I have the code here. It states what you have to do. You have to put a uh, legal ad in the newspaper. I just want to know what we have to do to um, get that because it's, you're talking in gun season. You're talking two Sundays and and low season. Uh, I don't see how it would hurt anything, but let's let the public decide. We tried. It, I think they tried it like eight years ago or something. Is it, is it, is it, no, I don't know. But, is it restricted just to your private property? Private property. Yes. No, no parks. Or, yep. or anything. So people can just hunt their private property. Please. But I have the code Please. and I can give it to you. And, uh, right. uh, well, what's, uh, what's the wishes? You, do you want to put this on next week's agenda? Or yeah, I think we, yeah, let's put it on the agenda in case somebody wants to have it, their opinion. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just uh, uh, submit that to be on the agenda calling next week and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Do you need me to leave the code? Yes, yeah, sure. sure. Give it on the code yeah. and it would be okay. helpful and then we can have it in, in the packets for everyone. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I, I don't see where we're hurt to remain there. They're going to put um, drink at 11 o'clock on Sunday, so I don't know why it would hurt. <laughs> 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 oh, great. We can have a drink going? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, when they mean go and get wild turkey, they really mean it, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments from the public? <laughs> Hearing none, I'll close that section. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're wearing two hats. You got your other hat on? I do. <coughs> Colleen Coon Grants. I don't have any grants for you this week. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That makes it easy. Very good. Then you take that hat back off and put yeah. this one back on. There you go. Got it. Ben said he was going to make a comment on your nice hair. So. Oh, so sweet of him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not quite 10.15, so let's jump down to correspondence. We received a letter on Monday from the Monongahela Conservation District. Um, it says, I write this letter as one of the Monongahela County elected supervisors of the Monongahela Conservation District. When the district received the letter of rejection of our allocation request for $4,000 to maintain and repair the five flood control dams located in Preston County, I accepted it as due to severe budget necessity. I realize that has not radically changed, but I also read almost daily that there was more carryover money than expected. As a result of the larger carryover, projects that were originally rejected or new projects are being funded. Therefore, I request that you review and seriously consider our original February request of $4,000. Granted, the use of the money would go to dams not located in Monagalia County, however. Unquestionably, the homes and businesses located in, De in the Deckers Creek Valley from the Monongahela Preston County line to the Monongahela River are the major beneficiaries provided by these dams. Money is allocated by county commissions for dam maintenance and repair are matched by the state dollar for dollar, which at present means the Monongahela district shortage is $8,000. There are two other counties in this district, Marion and, Prest Marion and Preston, annually allocate money for this purpose as they have already budgeted for 2016-17. I respectfully request Respectively, request that you review and fund our budgetary budgetary request for 2016-17. Paul Nestle Road. Okay. Um, is there any desire to uh, place that on the agenda next well, week, or what's your wish? I recall a, the request was simply a request. There was no financial statement for that, and so I would mm -hmm. invite. Or I would like to allow the discussion of this upon reception of a full financial statement. In other words, having the necessary paperwork filled out 
that we sent to everybody else. In other words, all we received for this, and I remember this request immediately, uh, really, uh, was just simply a request. So, uh, why don't we in that? Why don't we just notify them as Ed just said uh, that they need to fill out the paperwork. They need to get get us the financials, and we'll place them on the work session. The other thing I do want to put in the record is. I'm expecting probably we'll get more of these, but yes. I think what we have to remember is that the coal severance is what we, this is came out of coal severance. Yes. It isn't going to come out of the regular budget. I mean, I would, is what I would be hoping. So that's what we just have to be right. very careful because I'm sure we're going to get a number more, but the coal severance was limited. Right. Maybe if we get more coal severance next year, then we could look at that. But I agree with you. Let's take a look and see what, what they can offer and show us the financials. So that's what we will deal with that. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, any further correspondence? Yes. Okay. Uh, still have a few minutes. Uh, any unfinished business? I would like to ask that boy. There he comes. Yes. So he, I was, the sheriff. I realize that if you could give us an update, August first has passed. And you can explain to the public why that date is very important to us. Uh, August 1st was the date that we set for the two remaining hotels, motels that were in arrears on their occupancy tax. Uh, Ramada Inn is one of them. They owe for the full year, or almost the full year of 2015. Uh, Hilton Garden Inn is the second one, and they owe nine months ago nine months uh, on theirs. Everybody else that was in arrears, we had contacted and uh, they paid theirs up. Most of those were a month or two behind and uh, they made, made those up. Some of them, even after we sent letters when we took this over in December of last year, we uh, had sent letters, copy the state code, copy the handbook dealing with uh, hotel motel occupancy tax, and some of them that we contacted that were in arrears a month or two thought that uh, they didn't have to pay for the end of the month. And it clearly states in the letter, no, it's the 15th of the month, uh, that you have to have your previous month's collections in. So where we're at right now with uh, Ramada Inn and Hilton Garden Inn, uh, they've been notified in writing. They both received a letter. We have the return mail uh, slips, uh, a return uh, slip where they received the letter that they were to pay all their arrearages by August 1st. If they didn't, then we would proceed with uh, uh, legal action against them. Uh, they have not paid, neither one has paid, and we are in the process of uh, getting with the prosecuting attorney's office and doing our investigation and uh, hold them responsible for the taxes that they have. Uh, um. I, I want to thank you for the report, and I know I, I'm one, just one county commissioner, but I know the others are concerned too. I want to be a good neighbor. However, where my concern is, is that they've collected the money. It isn't that you were paying a tax and say, oh, you still owe $100 for your own property. They have collected it separately. We should have that money. The public should know that we should have that money, and I am adamant to go very strongly and immediately to take action. Uh, I think this is something that has to be resolved. It's unfair to the other businesses that have, are doing this. And I think we need to make a statement that they need to be a part of this community. And, when, and the question is legality-wise, if there, we may have to look at other avenues besides just collecting the funds. Uh, and it's, I'm very adamant on this, I'm sorry. It's, it's something that is wrong, I know CVB, is having problems with cash flow, and we are talking a lot of money here. We're talking more than, if I'm correct, two hundred thousand dollars, aren't we? Um, probably close to that. Yes. Yeah. So somewhere around a couple hundred thousand dollars. So okay, again, I want to thank you. I, I just want to throw my full support. I don't know if the other commissioners want to say something because I think, you know, we've been working on this since what December of last year when yeah. we started this process. If Ed or Elder wants to say something. I feel adequate time has been given. <laughs> I'm just going. I'm just going to repeat what I've said numerous times for two years now, or whenever this whole thing started. <clears throat> it's not money 
out of their pocket. Right. It's not money they legally can put in their pocket. It is paid by the people that rent the rooms and it should go in a separate account. If it doesn't, I think that's at least a misdemeanor. If they, if they <laughs> merge or, or contaminate uh, the, this tax with their own assets for remodeling or whatever, mm -hmm. is illegal. You know that, Sheriff. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> I haven't repeated it a dozen <clears throat> times and said it a dozen times. If but. you could just keep up with another, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so that we're informed. I, I'm yeah. totally confident that the sheriff and yeah. the prosecutor's office will do whatever is necessary to make sure that this this doesn't happen in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the report. Thank you, Jim. <clears throat> okay. All right. It's uh, now. 10:15. Is anybody here for the Kachensky uh, petition to remove the personal representative of Robert Joseph Kachensky estate? Anyone out there? Uh oh, no, we don't want him. <laughs> oh, you don't leave. I need to talk to you before you go. Uh, Philip, are, are you here for the Kachensky estate? Yes. Again, uh, that's being continued. You, you're asking for a continuance? I didn't, so ask for the, I, I didn't ask for the continuance. Mr. Rollo did because his client is at the uh, Cleveland Clinic attending to her ex-husband. Do, do you want, you want, uh, okay. It, it, it was, it, it to be reset on a date agreeable to the commission and both parties. Okay, well that's what I wanted to figure out, whether you had a date certain or, or we just need a motion to continue it to a time that the two parties can agree? That would be sufficient because, okay. again, we're, uh, we're having a hearing in front of Mr. Armstead on the accounting issue, um, I want to say the latter part of August. Okay. Can I have a motion to continue this to a date? to continue so the two parties can agree on a time and then we will meet at that time. Reschedule. Reschedule. Second. Uh, <clears throat> yes, ma'am? No, I just thought it might think it's the right thing to do because, uh, uh, you know, it's her father for children and he's a nice guy. No, sure. Well, the, the, the <clears throat> we have to take this step, A, because it's got to be part of the record, and, and B, if, if we... If we don't do anything with it, it just disappears. You have to start all over again. Yeah. So by, by doing this, it just keeps everything alive. Uh, motion to the second, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Okay, just uh, when you're able to get with uh, Mr. Rollo, the two of you come up with a date and we'll reschedule. Thank again. You. I, I, I'm, I'm going to suggest with Mr. Rollo that again that it could be continued till after the hearing in front of Mr. Armstead mm -hmm. because that might resolve the majority of the issues. That would be great. Good. Sounds like a winner to me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Any other uh, unfinished business? Any new business? Reports from elected officials. Uh, Carrie, do you have anything for us today, sir? Ma'am? I'm sorry. Um, Sheriff, do you have anything for us? No, sir. Ron, do you have anything from Granville? No, no. Okay. Mayor. How are you, sir? Uh, good to see you. Uh, who, do, who do I complain to about the extortion of these dog dog calls? <laughs> the what? Dog calls. That's coming been, up right now. I, I got word that they were catching them in Star City and dropping them off in Westover, and then we had to pay because we had to call the dog catcher. <laughs> well, how do we find out if there's any truth to that? <laughs> I don't know. Do they have, the, they have uh, the Star City brand on them? Well, there's also a hint of Granville doing it, too. But I don't know who talked to you. Right? Ron's done that before. We've caught him before. Everyone's been dropping Well, but them from Granville to Westover, they don't have to swim. Well, there's a cricket queen there. <laughs> <laughs> they take the bridge. 
Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll start an investigation. Right? Yeah. That's all I had to say. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, reports from County Commissioners. Tom. Oh, you had Bobby had something. Oh, Bobby, I'm sorry. Did About you have something? that. Yeah. Um, since they brought it up, I guess I'll report uh, <laughs> on our intergovernment agreements with uh, the city of Morgantown, Granville, Star City, and Westover. Uh, we do it every year, and um, it's in the city's contract to raise 3% a year, so they'll be raised $1,072.40. Uh, That'll bring the city's contract up to $36,819.11. <clears throat> so the city had um, 247 calls this year. So we base everybody, other municipalities, on the amount of calls that they have and what it costs per call. So in the uh, town of Star City, uh, their calls went down. Last year they paid $2,564.11. They only have 14 calls this year, so for the year following 2016-2017, uh, they will pay $2,086.84. Is that where the mayor got his uh, yeah. suspicions? Yeah, they, 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 they went down. Uh, Granville also went down. Last year they paid $6,033.20. This year they will pay $2,534.02. Uh, they had 17 calls. The city of Westover has went up. Last year they paid 11915 This year they'll pay 15353 Their calls went from 88 to 103. And... Um, I was explaining to the mayor and Ron while they were here that um, Dana sends an email every month showing them how many calls they've had. So everybody knows that they've had this many calls. So it's not going to be a surprise to them. Uh, it may be a surprise that Westover went up, but they had more calls. Sure. So we're going to get this wrote up and typed up and sent to each municipality. And if they want it, okay. If not, they can have their own fog warden service with their own center to keep their animals but <laughs> that's what i wanted to bring to your attention we have to get it okay. because we're so we're right gonna we'll put on. that on the agenda next week yeah hopefully they'll have yeah. everything typed up that's you're okay. all signed to send yeah. it to okay. yeah. yeah okay thanks yeah. Mayor. we'll look into the investigation this week <laughs> okay there you go uh tom uh first i want to thank uh First, I want to congratulate Ed. I went to the parade, and it was probably one of the largest fair parades I've seen in years. I mean, and it lasted over an hour, so it was a fun parade, and I just want to congratulate you. I thought it was a real positive experience, and it seems like everyone enjoyed that. Uh, the second thing, I do want to thank the superintendent out at Camp Muffley, Rachel. Um, even though I live at Ashton Estates, I didn't realize on the other night there was a major storm that just destroyed the, I mean, the culverts and everything out one mile away from me at Camp Muffley. They were flooded. She is pregnant and was out in the middle of it trying to save equipment for the University High Band. The band director could not believe she was out there trying to do that. So I want to accommodate, you know, thank her. And they ended up having to move in the food. <coughs> And the band camp back to University High School, but I think she deserves a letter of appreciation for going up far and above, you know, duty. And then I know Bobby then his group went out there to try. And unfortunately, maybe Ed, you might know more about what happened. But I just wanted to thank them and just acknowledge what she had done. Rachel certainly works very hard. Yes. So, and that, that's it. I've received nothing but compliments from the. Matter of fact, uh, I I was meeting with uh, Mr. Doyle. Uh, up on, on Thursday when the first flood, because <laughs> the, it actually flooded twice. Okay, that did not yes, it flooded on Thursday and again on Saturday. And uh, so I was actually meeting with Mr. Doyle, uh, looking at the potential for a log cabin to possibly move as an office for Mason Dixon Park, which we're receiving an estimate until we have any more information, then I'll bring it back to commission with, uh, with Mr. Doyle. Uh, but it started to rain, and so because the rain seemed to be so heavy, and I was going to Camp Muffley anyway, I actually went down to the camp and watched it uh, rise almost, I'd say, 40 inches in about 40 minutes. Uh, it, it was really a great amount of water because it was actually hitting the, uh, it didn't go over the top of the new bridge, 
but the water was lapping against that bridge. And so it flooded the bottom, and then again, it did it on Saturday. And uh, Rachel uh, has taken it all in stride. Uh, she has, again, been, a, been an exemplary person mm -hmm. in position out there. Last night uh, at the fair, speaking of the fair, and thank you for the compliment, uh, I don't do any of the work. Uh, all I do is talk. But, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm not chairman anymore. I surrendered the chairmanship mm -hmm. of the fair. But uh, really, uh, it was a great parade. Last night at the fair, we did crown Miss Faith Lynn Walker as queen of the fair. I would invite everybody to come out in the community to enjoy this event that is, you know, it's family fun. Yeah, there's just something for everybody out there. Uh, again, you can find me at the barn, and uh, I've got a booth inside, which I pay for every year, but uh, I, my booth usually isn't occupied. Uh, I'll be at the barn having a good time. So come to the fair, folks. Okay. I, uh, I want to also uh, commend uh, the fair parade. It, it was a and the weather was was perfect too. It was. The sun wasn't out. You weren't getting burnt, and, but mm -hmm. but it was uh, uh, just perfect weather. It's what well, you say fair fair weather for the fair. Fair weather for the fair, indeed. Yeah. Let's uh -huh. hope it continues. That's right. That's right. That's good. Um, I uh, do you want uh, do you do you want to make your suggestion of a letter of uh, recognition? For yes. Rachel as a motion? Yes, I would, would like to move that we send a uh, letter of rec recognition for her. Recognition, above and beyond recognition and appreciation. Appreciation. I would happily second that. Yeah. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Okay, we'll have a mm -hmm. prepared letter for that. Um, I want to uh, thank Granville for hosting the Color of Law yesterday. That was uh, my fine, I attended that. That was an exceptional, exceptional program. Uh, I, I want to participate in the future. This good turnout. And uh, I think there's a, there was a lot of good, uh, good things that uh, took place. And uh, we need to, we need to keep working on. There's a, it's a lot, lot, a number of issues that, that we're dealing with there. Uh, last week, um, we had. Uh, I, I was unable to attend because I had too many other uh, meetings. But uh, a new colonel for the Corps of Engineers was installed, so we welcome him. Welcome him aboard. Uh, of course, we. Were, Continue to work on the river and the river locks. Uh, yeah, there should be. Uh, I will have to report probably in September uh, to what we've done on keeping the locks open and all. So uh, I'll be attending that later, later, either later in the, this month. They, there's a possibility they'll move it to August, uh, but. Uh, to, to keep our, our program. Our program is still a, 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 an exceptional recognized program of uh, public public working together, public, public, private working together to uh, keep the locks open. Uh, this weekend we've got um, the uh, County Commissioners Association uh, board meeting on, on Saturday and then our annual conference started on Sunday through Tuesday. Uh, I will be uh, monitoring and uh, teaching two classes, one on uh, uh, TIFs and financing and the other on Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. So uh, the the second one the second one's part of a round robin so if you want to avoid me you can go to one of the other programs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that that will be going on. <clears throat> we're uh, also uh, we're, we're also uh, I wanted to point out that we have I will be emailing you uh, a list of, of our uh, positions and platforms uh, that we finalized at the National Association of Counties. Uh, 
one of the one of the things that I think is is key uh, to our economic development and growth is uh, doing away with the the stove piping as they like to refer to uh, or silos uh, people working together so I, I'll I'll share that with with you and maybe uh, maybe we'll discuss it further in, in work session as to okay. whether we have a group of resolutions we want to adopt and uh, there's a couple things in there that would give us ideas for legislation we did not because of the number of meetings uh, that's been going on and the flooding we were unable to have our normal July legislative committee conference mm -hmm. so we're uh, going to be spending some time on developing at <coughs> that at the annual conference so again if you have anything be sure and bring that with you ideas and then we'll develop it out and then uh, probably adopt our legislative agenda in the fall board meeting in uh, the end of September okay uh, that's all I have uh, one more yeah. item. I just one thought that maybe, no. would we want to send the letter to the City Council uh, wishing Jeff McCorsey good luck and at the same time Glenn Kelly was uh, right. was chosen as the interim uh, may mayor uh, or city manager and that way in you know and open you know positive I think that would be appropriate no, okay so, I'd so move yes second I have a motion and a second all in favor say aye. aye 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 thank you motion passed that reminds me they have the municipal league uh, conference right right now I guess starting right now yep in Pittsburgh we'll, I think. we'll see how that turns out okay anything further yes can you just clarify do you had settlements before you today fiduciary settlements yeah but you didn't specifically mention those I just want to make and they're not on the Report. I just want to make sure that you okay, do have those and can get a motion to approve those settlements for today. Are they in here? With they should be. Make a motion to approve all those settlements. Okay. Do I have to list each one? No. Okay. Move that we uh, approve the settlements from the fiduciary commissioners as written on this page, page 50, book 50, page 528. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Move for adjournment. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you.